Today we are going to learn inverse Laplace transform of integrals. Inverse Laplace transform of integrals. Simply, this is also called integral. The statement of this theorem is if L inverse of F bar of S is equal to F of T, then L inverse of integral S to infinity F bar of S dS is equal to f of t by this is the statement of inverse Laplace transform of integrals or integral method. The meaning of this theorem is to find the inverse Laplace transform of these type of integrals we can use integral method or inverse Laplace transform of integrals. To prove this theorem we can use the general definition of Laplace transform. By the definition of Laplace transform. We have f bar of s is equal to L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t. This is equation. This is the general definition of Laplace transform of f of t. Now, Integrating equation 1 with respect to S from S equal to S to S equal to infinity, we have integral S to infinity f power of s ds is equal to integral s to infinity integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt into ds. On changing the order of integration, the left hand side integral can be written as integral 0 to infinity dt integral s to infinity e power minus st into f of t ds. Integral 0 to infinity f of t into here the upper limit is infinity and the lower limit is s. Yes. 
e power minus infinity minus e power minus st by minus t into t which is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of t into here the value of e power minus infinity is 0 minus e power minus st by minus t into dt since e power minus infinity equal to 1 by e power infinity equal to 1 by infinity which is equal to c which is equal to integral 0 to infinity f of t into by cancelling these two minus terms we get e power minus st by t which is equal to integral 0 to infinity the integrand can be written as e power minus st into f of t by t into t by the general definition of laplace transform we say this is laplace transform of f of t by t so integral s to infinity f bar of s ds is equal to l of f of t by t taking inverse laplace transforms on both sides taking l inverse on both sides we get L inverse of integral S to infinity F bar of S ds is equal to L inverse of L of F of t by t. That implies L inverse of L means 1. L inverse of integral s to infinity f bar of s ds is equal to f of t by t. This statement can also be written as f of t is equal to t into L inverse of integral s to infinity f bar of s is. So, finally, to find the inverse Laplace transform of the integrals of the form integral s to infinity f bar of s ds, we can use the inverse Laplace transform of integrals or integral method and also to find the inverse Laplace transform of f bar of s where f bar of s is any function we can also the we can also apply the inverse laplace transform of x